September 3, Memorial of St. Gregory the Great, Pope and Doctor of the Church A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke Jesus went down to Capernaum, a town of Galilee. He taught them on a Sabbath and were astonished at his teaching because he spoke with authority. In the synagogue there was a man with the spirit of an unclean demon and he cried out in a loud voice, Ha! Huh? What have you do to us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. Jesus rebuked him and said, Be quiet, come out of him. Then the demon threw the man down in front of them and came out of him without doing him any harm. They were all amazed and said to one another, What is there about his word? For with authority and power, he commands the unclean spirits, and they come out. And the news of him spread everywhere in the surrounding region. The Gospel of the Lord He spoke with authority. Jesus' ministry of preaching and teaching is accompanied with power and authority. God's power resides in him. That is why his words possess an authority mightier than the power of the evil one. Jesus departs from the negative connotation of authoritarianism, which implies despotism, tyranny, dictatorship, and domination. Rather, his authority is translated into love and service. Jesus' word has power to exercise, to heal, and to restore life. Even today, Jesus shares the same power with the church through the ministers of the sacraments by forgiveness of sins, healing of the sick and the like, and through the charismatic gifts bestowed on the people of God.